Hi, good morning and welcome to this explanation of uh, this particular physics numerical from Resnick and Halliday. Now, if you look into this problem, this problem has three situations in a collision scenario, right? So you have a collision happening and there is a force magnitude versus time graph given. So the y-axis is representing force in each of the graph and the x-axis is representing the time in each of the graphs. So it's all the three situations tell you about a force time graph. A collision has happened and you have to tell which graph represents the highest impulse, lowest impulse and the medium impulse. So you have to rank the impulse with the help of the graph. Now, this is a very, very important concept of impulse. One of the ways impulse is calculated is by integrating the force. So, remember this, the way to calculate impulse, one of the important ways is integrating, integrating force, okay, is one of the methods. So, if you integrate force with respect to time this is very very important so the way you write this is f which is a function of time or f t d t t is equal to t initial and t is equal to t final right so this gives you the impulse right which we represent by j so since this is a definite integral this can also be calculated with, with the help of the area under the graph area under the graph one and the same thing area under the graph if you're given a force function which is time dependent that's one way you can apply this if you're given a graph where finding area is easy apply this right area under the graph of force versus time but the basic concept is integrating force with respect to time that is very important remember that now you, what you need to do is please have a look at my playlist of mechanics and search for what is impulse. It is very important to understand impulse. Impulse questions are a bit confusing. You must understand the basics of impulse. So go through my playlist of mechanics and search for impulse. And I have done some numericals there which you need to see. Okay, let's get back to this particular numerical. If you look into the first graph, right, I'm referring to the first graph, what is the area of this graph, right? So, so the force is constant throughout the time period 60, 0. This is the force. So the area of the first graph, which is the area, the area will tell you what? Impulse, right? The area of first graph, area of graph 1 will give you 2F not into 60 0 is equal to 12 f not t 0 okay let's talk about area of graph 2 is equal to 4 f not multiply by 3 t not is equal to 4 f not t not right let's talk about the area of graph 3 right so so this was also same and this will be half base half base 12 into height 2 f not 12 so 12 f not t not did you see that you, what you got was all the three situations of the collision right so the body underwent a collision each collision lasted for a different time period this collision the B collision lasted only for this particular time period, but the force was very high, right? This particular collision, which is in A, lasted for a longer period of time, but the force was very small. So, if you talk about A, the force was of very small magnitude, but it lasted for a very long period. The area in each of the situation has come out to be the same, and therefore we can say, that the magnitude of impulse in all the three situations is same, right? So the answer is there is no greatest first. 
in each of these situations the magnitude of impulse is same now impulse is dependent on uh, the time period okay it, if the time period is very small right for example here the time period is very the time period is smallest here but the force is very high the time period is very long here but the force is very small right so you, multiple collisions if a body undergoes different type of collisions and the time of collision right the for example let's talk about this collision these two balls collide with each other and then they stay in touch with each other for different time periods you know so they are in touch with each other for different time periods that time period is very important right generally it has to be a very short time period for impulse to generate this is the time the 3t0 the 12t0 6t0 this is the time for which the bodies are in touch with each other remember that and then of course they are having a mutual force which they are exerting on each other from newton's third law so this mutual force is this force being referred to right the impulse is the product of the force assuming it to be a constant force for example throughout the in this particular case for example right look at c the force is a variable force as the time progresses the force reduces but if you look into this graph b the force is constant so this force is the mutual force of action and reaction this is the time for which the two bodies are in contact with each other so overall impulse is dependent just not on the force magnitude it is also dependent on for how long the bodies will be in touch with each other right so just remember that two factors delta t how long will you stay in touch with each other this is what it represents which is in the equation and what is the mutual force of action and reaction which is being referred to now this force can be the you know a variable force or a constant force if it's a variable force use integration if it's a constant force directly multiply force multiplied by t right force multiplied by t will directly give you if the force is constant but if the force is not constant then apply integration right the force varies as per time so i hope this made sense this was an excellent numerical to bring out the concept of impulse and how impulse you know can be solved with the help of graph the basic concept you must remember is the you have to integrate the force function with respect to time this is the only channel which is giving explanation apart from solutions if you just see solutions on an app or a website or a portal but there is no explanation given you will learn nothing my aim is to impact 1 million students across the globe please spread this channel i have some fantastic videos and solutions and explanations given on physics class 11th and class 12th these are universal applicable across the countries currently my channel is being viewed across united states india philippines algeria pakistan and some other countries you know very importantly so this is becoming a global channel please help me spread this and you will see fantastic quality of videos and solutions coming the the and and remember if you do well in your career this will be the greatest victory for me that i could help you you know earn better marks and you know you, you are able to build a better career for yourself so thank you very much for your time and wait for my next video